Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June 15th, 2021. Well, my goodness, we had an interesting day yesterday with the SPY and the QQQ making new record highs, and it was largely, well, almost solely the big tech giants that lifted both the SPY and Q to new record um, highs. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink, let's settle into our office chairs, and let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So good morning once again, everyone, and thank you all for being here. I truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can get some information out of these charts. Take a look at maybe some of the news events that could affect us today and decide how we might want to approach the market for today. So first off, let's take a look here at the Dow. Now the Dow had kind of a rough day yesterday. As you can see, it pushed back pretty significantly. We were down uh, 200 points, over 200 points at one point in the, in the day. But at the end of the day, we had a major surge back. So we held on to this trend although it does look just a little bit like the dow is just kind of tired it's it's just a little bit on the sleepy side um trying to hold on to some price supports but seems to be a little bit unsure of itself here overall so i have to still give this up to the bulls that we're still kind of hanging in there we're clinging to this price support but also I have to kind of point out that this might be the first index if, if the bears are to find some inspiration, this might be the first index that could end up breaking a bit lower. So watch that closely. Now, if the bulls can find inspiration, just keep in mind that we have resistance levels in this chart that have to be um, dealt with. So we're going to have to work pretty hard here to get this going. And I'm not saying that they can't, they can't get it going because they obviously could get it going. But we'll want to watch that pretty closely. Also keep in mind that we are getting very, very close to our 50-day moving average. We came close yesterday. And I got to tell you, when we get that close, it's not out of the question to see that push back into that 50. What we don't want to see is that fail on through that 50 day moving average. So hopefully the news today, the data today will give us some inspiration to continue to hold on. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY setting new record highs. Now I got to tell you, this was lifted. Um, almost entirely by big tech. And if you um, need a little bit of proof on that, I'm going to show you um, the heat map. Give me just one second. The heat map of the S&P 500 here yesterday. And you can see that it was almost entirely lifted by these guys right here we had microsoft apple amazon google and down just below where you can't see let me fix that facebook we had nvidia doing some work but notice that the majority of the stocks in the s p 500 were either slipping sideways or south and it was pretty much these big techs that did the lifting um, almost on its own. As a matter of fact, until the last 15 minutes, there was a lot more red. Last 15 minutes of the day, there was a lot more red than we ended up with um, at the end of the day. So kind of an interesting um, circumstance here in the market where... Um, it looked to me like it was an institutional push because of those giant techs, um, there's not a whole lot of retail trading in those giant techs to move it like that. I'm sure there was some retail tagging along, but it took some big dollars, some institutional push 
to get those uh, punching through those resistance levels. So let's take a look at the SPY. Now SPY holding into this trend and we've broken through that, res um, that resistance high up here. So the good news up here, as we hold above this level, we'll wanna watch that area of price support if we happen to slip or pull back. So watch that closely. If that holds a support, we could be golden and we could continue to stretch on up to um, the upside new record highs could be on the way here. Um, let's take a look at the Q. Now the QQQ, we just broke through and we broke through solidly um, yesterday with a big strong move. Now the question becomes after stretching like it has, working so hard, stretching so hard, will it hold? So make sure we wait for kind of a rest or pullback. Make sure we can get some proof that we can hold this new level before you really charge in with a bunch of tech buying. Make sure that can hold because we could certainly top and um, drift lower here as well on that NASDAQ. And then IWM, IWM holding up here, not really faltering or falling, but we're still struggling with these resistance highs. Um, still challenged a bit by those resistance highs in the chart. But we have to say that we're still holding on to this uh, short-term upside trend, and we're also holding on to some price support levels in the chart. Notice we held right in here. So we're in pretty good shape overall in these index charts, but we're right at that place where, boy, it wouldn't take a whole lot of a stumble to really start sending, um, sending things south as well. So it's really going to depend on how this data comes out and how the market reacts to that data. Let's take a look at our uh, VIX. Now the VIX, interestingly enough, as the market set new record highs, we saw the VIX perking up just a little bit. So there is a little bit of fear in, um, in this rally that we push through. So we'll want to keep a close eye on that this morning. I'm not sure that it's a problem at all, but we will want to keep an eye on that. So we have officially broken into that uh, new level down below here. We did that yesterday, or excuse me, the day before yesterday, and now we're perking back up trying to hold that price level in there. So watch that closely. It all depends on how we react to all of the data and over the next couple of days, um, how this may resolve itself. Then let's take a look at our T2122. Um, whoops. T2122, interestingly enough, as we were setting new record highs, T2122 was pulling back. And that's just that indication, once again, that while we were moving up, it was a very select amount of stocks that were lifting the indexes to new records while the majority of stocks were moving sideways to south. And we can see that in T2122. Now, keep in mind, there is some good news in this as well. The good news is that we've pulled back toward this mid-range in T2122, suggesting that if we can find some bullish inspiration, we've opened an upside opportunity here in that chart. So watch that closely. Also keep in mind, if those bears were to find inspiration, we still have plenty of room uh, for this move to the downside. So keep an eye on that as well. And it is really puzzling to me that while we're setting new record highs, um, we continue to see the absolute market breadth dropping, um, continuing to show weakness here. Um, we just can't get market breadth moving here in the chart. Now, perhaps it's waiting for the FOMC to make that decision. Are we going to start getting a little bit more momentum coming into the market or not? I'm not sure, but watch that closely. Um, setting new record highs as market breadth continues to decline is a little bit perplexing and a little bit concerning. So make sure that you're prepared just in case we do decide to shift and go um, go south rather than north. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar is a busy one and we've got a lot on our plate this morning. Let's notice here, we're gonna get PPI numbers here before the bell. 
So we're going to get these PPI numbers. We're going to get retail sales. Um, we've got Empire State Manufacturing coming in. Now that's not likely to move the market as much as the, the two above, but watch that closely. And then at 9.15 today, we're going to get industrial production. That's certainly a, um, a number that can move the market. Business inventories in the housing market index will be coming out here this morning. So busy day on that calendar and um, could be rather interesting. Now also keep in mind today begins the um, the FOMC meeting. So the FOMC meeting begins today. Tomorrow afternoon we're going to get the FOMC announcement and the Fed press conference. So keep a close eye on that. With this and these numbers coming out, um, we could see lots of volatility in the first part of this morning. We could see lots of that. But don't be too surprised if the if the momentum really drops off quickly and we largely just chop around as we wait for the FOMC decision. And one of the reasons this is becoming very, very important, obviously the CPI number coming in at its highest um, number in uh, nearly 28 years, well, 28 years and nearly 30 years. And um, we just saw yesterday Jamie Dimon break ranks with all the big investment banks saying, that they are holding cash because he believes inflation is here to stay instead of saying oh it's just transitory it's not going to last very long and then we had paul tudor jones he's a hedge fund manager come out yesterday and say say this is going to be an interesting situation on this decision he said if the fed were to ignore inflation and stay the course just stay the course. Um, he says go all in on inflation stock, uh, trades. Um, he's expecting inflation trades to just surge um, if that were to occur. And on the other hand, he said, but be careful because if they do decide to make a course correction um, and change things, he said, watch for a possible taper tantrum. That's where the market just throws a fit because the Fed starts pulling money um, out of the system. So watch that closely. Um, tomorrow could be an interesting day, so just be very, very careful. Now, having said that, Let's take a look at our earnings calendar today. Now, our earnings calendar, we have about 18 companies on the list, but honestly, we don't have a whole lot here for notables. But there are a couple that we want to make um, uh, be watch, watchful of um, today. We're going to hear from HRB, H&R um, Block, this morning. Keep a close eye on that one. That could be interesting one today. Um, been an incredible upside trend, and we're still holding that trend, even though yesterday was a bit of a pullback. This afternoon, we're going to hear from Oracle. Keep an eye on this one. Oracle's been in an incredible upside trend, staying very, very strong, so watch for that report. And then um, Lazy Boy. Lazy Boy is the um, only other notable that I could really come up with today. Um, so watch that. Notice we've been kind of locked in a range-bound um chart pattern here in the chart so it could be um, an important report to get it moving so um, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and by the way we're almost at at uh, 21,300 this morning. So get a few more of those folks to click that button. We'll be there real quick. Um, and um, if you find these videos to be worthy, if you could please do me a favor and also click that uh, thumbs up button and comment. Um, comment, comment, comment. Um, every time you click those thumbs up buttons, leave comments, it helps the algorithm in showing these uh, people say, hey, they're engaging on this video. So we're gonna show this video to more folks. And um, I truly, truly appreciate everyone who does take the time to do that. It, um, it means the world to me. Thank you so much. And once again, I'm gonna shout out to those folks supporting the channel. Um, with buy me a coffee um, it's that link is just below the title of the video thank you so much you guys 
you, you're just so awesome. Um, you humble me every day. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some stock setting up and please keep in mind guys that these stocks are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, make sure you're doing your own due diligence. Make sure you understand the risk. Make sure you're following your own risk tolerance rules. Never, ever, ever blindly follow anyone else's trade. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that you might want to put on a list and keep an eye on. Take a look at this stock XL. This was actually brought to me by one of the members of RWO yesterday. They were um, checking it out. And I got to tell you guys, that's one of the great benefits of, of membership is we have well-trained eyes, lots of well-trained eyes, keeping an eye on the market. One of the great benefits is all of those folks watching closely and picking out some really good looking stocks. Take a look at this XL. XL, nice little resting pullback into trend, holding on to some support levels. And let's take a look here. Above its 50 day moving average, this is in a pattern that we call a rounded bottom breakout, where the stock starts to move up and we start to see these major averages rounding up. And the ultimate target up here would be the 200 day moving average. So looking really good there on XL. Keep that one on your list. Watch for that opportunity. How about Nokia? Nokia is also one of uh, these really nice patterns where we've just consolidated out here to trend, a nice little resting pattern. We certainly had a lot of volatility, some big pops in here, but Nokia is picking up. Notice we've broken through some major resistance here, holding that area as support, looking for that next inspiration pop here. Keep an eye on Nokia. How about FDP? Now FDP is kind of a safety play in a way. Um, this would be one of those areas that Paul Tudor Jones was talking about and this again was a a, um, a right way options member um, uh, stock that they um, suggested. Take a look at this. This is farm products, food products. And Paul Tudor remember said hey if the Fed doesn't uh, do anything and taper um, if they stay the course look for inflation to really go into um, those kind of stocks and I would guess food is going to be one of those that will continue to spike and rally keep an eye on these farm products and food related stocks if the uh, Fed does stay the course and says, ah, we're not worried about inflation. So watch that closely. Then um, how about a little bit more speculation? Um, let's take a look at space, SPCE. Now space is a pretty high volatility stock, no doubt about it. Um, um, lots of speculation in here, but notice we have this nice pattern. We broke through some resistance and we're holding this area as support. You can see I placed a price alert on there and yesterday we popped up and pulled back and popped back up. So we just kind of danced around that area. But I think there is an opportunity that this could gain some inspiration here and start to rally once again. So watch that closely on space. How about UA? VS, UAVS, here's another one of those charts coming up out of a downtrend, breaking that downtrend, rallying up, pulling back, holding on to some price support in the chart, and starting to show that, that opportunity that we could get a little bit bullish right here and push on through to the upside. If we take a look, this is that nice little moving average squeeze holding here on the 50, the 200. Um, that opportunity, if we can find that inspiration, this could move on higher. Nice looking chart. Um, keep an eye on stocks like NVIDIA. NVIDIA remaining very, very strong here in the chart. Since this alert, keep in mind, this is going to do a stock split in the coming days. So watch that carefully. Um, also keep an eye on Box. Now I actually went long Box yesterday, so I have a little bit of a bias here, but Box breaking through this major resistance um, level here in the chart and showing nice trend. Now I am just a little early ahead of the trend, so I may have to wait just a little bit more until we kind of finish filling out this trend, but watch for that opportunity uh, for the upside in box. How about FUBO? F-U-B-O looking really, really good. There's that pattern again, showing that nice little resting consolidation, pushing on up, 
holding above its 50 and 200 day moving averages in here. Keep a close eye on that. That's looking pretty good. Um, you're also going to want to take a look at NKLA. Now NKLA has been resting. We started, we popped just a little bit early, then we've pulled back into this area and we're resting out here. Keep an eye on that as this continues to rest. Watch for that opportunity as we get closer and closer to engaging that trend. And I'll tell you, one of the things I like to see in a chart is when we have these volatility type moves and then all of a sudden that volatility just begins to die off and rest right in here. And I'm just looking for that next opportunity in that trade. So watch that one close. So there's a few charts for you to pay attention to, a few charts to add to your list. I want to wish everyone a fantastic day and I want to suggest to everyone be a little bit careful and cautious. Remember, we've got a lot of data coming our way and um, if Paul Tudor Jones is anywhere close to being right, we could get a big energetic move to the upside in inflationary stocks or the market could have a bit of a tantrum if they decide to make a course correction. So plan your risk carefully, uh, don't over trade and be focused in on these price action moves because they could be pretty extreme and we could get some pretty substantial whips and um, reversals um, with all of this data and news heading our way. So. Plan your risk carefully. Everyone have a great day. I wish you great success and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning.